A million people are paying $59 every single year for superb themes? But why? That's the first thing I asked myself when I saw this website. I mean, in a world full of free themes like Astra, why are so many people actually paying for this one? So I decided to buy it and test it myself. In this video, I'll break down what superb themes does well, where it falls short, and whether it's actually worth paying for, especially compared to free themes or more premium options like Astra or Cadence. Let's get into it. For $59 a year, you get access to all 57 premium themes, 174 child themes and a bunch of helpful add-on plugins. That includes e-commerce themes, blog themes, pretty much every niche you can think of. You also get demo content for most themes so you're not starting from a blank page. You can install everything from one plugin called the Superb Themes Premium Helper and once you activate it and paste your license key, you can install any of their themes directly from your WordPress dashboard. They even give you demo import files for each one. Just install the one-click demo import plugin, upload the files and your site is ready in minutes. So is it any good? Let's talk about what Superb Themes does well. Number one, it's simple. There's no builder or complicated dashboard. You just install the theme, make your changes inside the WordPress customizer, and that's it. It's clean, fast, and beginner friendly. Number two, it's lightweight. The themes are super minimal by design, which is a good thing. They load fast, even before optimization. And with tools like Airlift, you can get seriously good speed out of these. Just make sure to go to the website and add your URL so Airlift can start optimizing things in the background automatically. Number three, it works well with Elementor. If you're using Elementor, you'll have no problems here. Their themes don't clash or break layouts. In fact, they're built to play nicely with page builders. Number four, you get a lot for the price. For $59 a year, you get 50 plus great templates. And if you're a freelancer or building multiple client sites, that license quickly pays for itself. Now, what could be better? Number one, some themes look a bit more basic out of the box. Yes, they're clean, but they don't exactly scream modern. You'll likely want to customize them or add a builder to make them pop. Number two, you will be managing a few extra plugins. To get the full experience, you'll need to install a couple of add-ons like the Premium Helper, the Demo Importer, and WooCommerce for e-commerce themes. Not a big deal, but not actually plug and play either. What's the final verdict? Should you use superb themes? If you're someone who just wants a simple, fast, and reliable theme that works well with Elementor or Gutenberg, superb themes is actually kind of a steal. It's not going to blow your mind with flashy animations or full site editing, but it's stable, well supported, and incredibly cost effective, especially for freelancers or bloggers managing multiple sites. Let me know if you want a full tutorial of the theme and I'll catch you in the next one. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're going to love it. Click here and I'll see you there.